4.3a, Rates and Unit Rates. Find rates. A rate is the amount per unit. To set it up, the word per is the fraction bar. Or it's the word that tells you to divide. It is very important when using unit rates or rates that you use labels. In example one, Raphael made $22,512 last year. What his, is his rate of pay per month? We first identify that it is asking pay per month. That is what it wants to know, which means that it is asking pay per, or the fraction bar, month. We can then set this up. We put the amount he gets paid, or the 22,512, and we put this per, or over, month. Well, since this is a yearly rate, and we know that a year has 12 months, we say that it is 22,512, per 12 months. We then type this in the calculator and we get 1,876. This is dollars per month. It is important to use your units. You may also write it as $1,876 per month. Example two, Giovanni covered his 2,500 square foot yard with 700 ounces of fertilizer. What is the rate of coverage the fertilizer can cover in ounces per square foot? Once again, we identify what it is asking for, ounces per square foot. We can write this as ounces per, or fraction bar, foot squared, or square foot. We now find the ounces in the story problem. As we can see, the ounces was 700. We therefore put 700 in the numerator. We then want to find the feet squared. We see that there are 2,500 feet squared. So we write this in the problem. We now type this in the calculator and it comes out as 0 0.028 ounces per foot squared or square foot. Using the labels is very important. Remember that when doing rates that you are finding an amount per unit. You must analyze the problem to find out how it wants you to put the units. If you put feet squared over ounces, you would not have gotten this same answer. It is also important to make sure that you use your units and show them labeled in the problem.